Here is everything that I have noticed in the new Sims 4 Life and Death gameplay trailer. These broken rusty windows, this llama park bench, this new fence, this crypt, all of these new gravestones, ghost cow plants. The Grim Reaper has his own house. And in the house, you can see these new roof turrets and some odd glowing plants. So a new portal for Grim and his Grim turns to return souls to the afterlife. And an absolute load of dead trees. This statue, this brand new jumper, a new plant in a vase, new scuffed up wall coverings, a new refrigerator, an awesome looking gothic swing set and matching jungle gym. This new dead tree, which is definitely very interesting and I cannot wait to learn more. A new veiled ghost. Also these new lanterns. Awesome new wallpaper. Some new ornaments over here. An odd TV full of static that seems to mesmerize your sims. Being able to write a bucket list for your sims. Also the new soul's journey. New bedding. A new lamp. A new octagon rug. New rocking chair. New pillars. Also this sims new dress. These new boxes. Being able to write a will for your sims. The Inheritance Lawyer is new as well, where you can not only write a will, but ask about funerals and heirlooms. A new bar, this new ghost with bowler hat, an assortment of brand new gravestones, the return of Nervous Subject, also Grandfather Clock, new shirt, new hair, <laughs> new earplugs, new tattoos, these new wall hangings, we have the purple flowers, the cow plant tarot card, no more game over when you your sims die. Now we'll be able to choose to become a playable ghost or become a free roaming ghost. A ghost in a jar, and, and I absolutely love this, support meetings for ghosts. Also, we've got a new lamp here, new plants in the background, a new table. If you choose to become a ghost when your sim dies, you unlock this new ghost mastery system. There is a lot to go over here. We've got these new wall decals, more pictures, lamps, furniture. I think that might be a new teddy bear. That is the weirdest toy I've ever seen, but okay, I'll go for it. The ability to rebirth your ghost sins to live once again. This new jumper. The return of Olive Spectre. And finally, the ability to try for baby with the Grim Reaper himself. If you're as excited for the upcoming Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack as I am, go into the comments, let me know what you're most excited for, and if you want to pre-order or order the pack, please remember use my EA Creator promo code MURGERGON when you check out in the EA app to help support the channel.